Hey there, everybody. Today, I wanted to talk about web hosting. Now, if you're just getting started, you're probably wondering what it is and how it exactly works. Well, web hosting is a service that allows individuals and organizations to post a website or web page onto the internet. A web host or web hosting service provider, such as Hostinger, as you can see here, is a business that provides the technologies and services needed for the website or web page to be viewed on the internet. Websites are stored or hosted on special computers called servers. When internet users want to view your website, they just need to type your website address into their browser and their computer will connect to your server and your web pages will be delivered to them. Now, in terms of service providers, my go-tos are Hostinger and Bluehost. For beginners, I'd recommend Hostinger though, because Bluehost requires a little more technical knowledge. And if you want more information about these two providers, in the description you'll find a video of mine comparing the two to give you some more insight. I'll also have discounts available for both platforms in the description as well if you do choose to go with either of them. All you have to do is click on the link and it activates a site-wide discount, so check it out if you're interested. But let's talk about why web hosting is important in the first place. So without web hosting, your site won't be accessible on the internet, period. Moreover, picking a good web host is crucial because that means faster loading times, which is very important for user experience and SEO or search engine optimization. If people have a bad experience with your website, then they won't come back and then it defeats the purpose of having one. Similarly, web hosts provide security measures to protect your site from cyber threats. Hostinger gives you weekly backups, SSL certificates, DDoS protection, firewall, and much more. It's a really serious part of running a site, especially if you're handling sensitive customer information, you don't want to be the one that compromised that info. Lastly, making a site can be a bit of a headache, and with a web hosting provider, receiving technical support is a lifesaver, especially if you're not tech savvy. Hostinger is great for this because they have 24-7 customer support, which I've used myself and can vouch for being super quick and responsive. Shout out to Oscar. Moreover, there are different ways to actually host a server, some with more resources and privacy than others. The most affordable tier of web hosting is shared hosting. It's called shared hosting because you're sharing a server with other people and you use the same resources as them. Now, it's affordable because beyond just the space on a server, you're all using the same bandwidth and a CPU, which can cause performance issues because the more resources someone's site takes, it could slow down the speed of everyone else's. Think of it as renting a room in a shared apartment. It's affordable, but you share resources with other people, which can be inconvenient at times. Shared hosting Hosting, therefore, is the best choice for smaller sites and beginners because it allows you to get started with all the necessary resources at an affordable price. Now, VPS hosting is a step up. It's kind of a sweet spot in web hosting because it offers more power and flexibility than shared hosting, but at a more affordable cost than a dedicated server, which we'll get to in a minute. It's kind of like having your own condo in a large building where you have separate resources and space. Key features include dedicated resources like CPU, memory and storage for consistent performance, customization and control with root access for specific software installations, scalability to easily handle growing website demands, and improved performance over shared hosting. This makes VPS an ideal choice for medium to large businesses, e-commerce sites, and websites experiencing increasing traffic and complexity. It strikes the perfect balance between performance, cost, and control, catering well to growing websites and businesses that have outgrown shared hosting but aren't quite ready for the leap to a dedicated server. The next form of web hosting is the only type that isn't stored on a physical server. So, cloud hosting involves hosting websites on a connected network of virtual servers, offering enhanced flexibility and scalability. It's ideal for handling variable traffic, as resources can be easily adjusted to meet demand. This hosting type stands out for its high reliability, as the distributed nature of the cloud reduces downtime risks. Cost-wise, it's efficient since you typically pay for only what you use, making it suitable for businesses with fluctuating needs. Performance is strong due to the load being spread across multiple servers, and security measures are robust, although managing them can be complex. Cloud hosting is especially well-suited for websites with unpredictable traffic patterns, e-commerce platforms needing high reliability, and businesses seeking a global reach with quick scalability. Now, for the last web hosting tier, we'll have to head over to Bluehost because hosting or doesn't include this one, that being dedicated hosting. 
Dedicated hosting is where you'd lease an entire server for exclusive use, offering the highest level of power, customization, and control in web hosting. To go back to our apartment analogy, this is actually like owning a private house with no neighbors. Key features include complete access to all server resources like CPU, memory, and storage, ensuring optimal performance and stability. This hosting type allows full root and admin access for unparalleled customization and security, making it really good for large businesses, high traffic websites, and e-commerce sites requiring robust security. While it is the most expensive hosting option, its benefits in terms of performance, reliability, and security make it a valuable investment for websites with intensive resource demands. Dedicated hosting is perfect for those needing maximum control and the best possible server performance. So in summary, web hosting is crucial to be able to host and run your site. All of the plans offer their benefits and drawbacks, but for those of you just getting started, premium web hosting is the best way to ease yourself into the world of web hosting. For more advanced purposes, then you'd have to consider what your site needs and whether the investment is worth it for you. It's always a balance between the traffic you're getting and if your plan offers you the performance and resources to keep up with the demand. And I hope with today's video, I made that decision a little easier. And that's all I have for today's video. If there are any further questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments comments. Also, don't forget the site-wide discounts available in the description for both hosting services, as well as the comparison video between the two. If you did enjoy the content, then consider hitting the like button and subscribing to help us out. And at any rate, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.